not a day. What's next, I wonder? entertainment but you're too fresh for this place aren't you there's a whiff of the surface to you holy shit an orphan powerful devils i wouldn't get on their bad side without a good reason you tiefling you've got the stench of the hells about you the stench of home and a whiff of the surface besides a servant of zaria if i'm not mistaken I'd know the stench of her infernal machinery anywhere. What do you know of infernal machinery? Only what I can smell. And whatever engine burns within you is grinding to an inevitable explosion. Burning and fear. <laughs> you reek with it. There's something else, almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. Musk. Mm. And sulfur. Raphael! I can smell him all over you! Where is he? That perfume trickster swindled me! Trapped me! Where is he? Spit it out. Now! We piss off a devil no matter what we do. Pick your poison. We'll handle the fallout like we always do. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. You can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here. Not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. Swarm to the night, silence or prayers smother each right. Wonder shards halls, hungry to slay, leave no justice here, alive to obey, leave none to hear it, then be set free. This song is your oath. Swear. Swear it to me! Well, that explains where all the dark justicias went. The final lyrics linger in your mind. There is a trick buried within them. A clause that cannot easily be fulfilled. That's it. So he's responsible for the carnage down here. All those dark justicias. Slaughtered. Parchment can burn. Oral agreements aren't worth the tongues they're waggled out upon. A song lingers. Raphael made double sure of that. I can't forget the damn thing so long as my word's not finished. I did as instructed, but the song still rattles about in my head. The contract still stands somehow. If I break it, I will become Raphael's slave forever. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Time to die. The 
Americans. They barely have a thought to share among themselves. But they do have ears. Kill yourselves. Back to the house with you. I still hear it. Seems your theory is wrong. Stay very still. My beauty. I still hear it! I'm ready. Wonder if the gods are watching me. All right, Karlak, it's go time.
Goodbye forever, pal. Soldier. healing. Do you know what happens when a devil is struck down on this charming plane of existence? It returns to the hells, to the very point where it last stood before venturing to whichever devil-forsaken plane it died on. In the case of our friend Yergir, the Orthon you so handily dispatched in the Temple of Shah, he manifested in my house of he returned to me chastened but intact. His wounds healed, his body restored. He thought I would dismember him. But he has his uses. So instead, I am re-educating him. We delivered the devil. Now I want what I'm owed. We had a deal. Indeed we did. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> Even for my tastes. I 
As you wish. Brace yourself, Astarian. We're about to unveil your destiny. Carved into that ivory skin of yours is one part of an infernal contract between the archdevil Mephistopheles and your former master, Kazador Zar. In full, the contract states that Kazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual so vile it has never been performed. The rite of profane ascension. It promises to be a marvelous ceremony, very elaborate, incredibly ancient, and entirely diabolical. If he completes the rite, he will become a new kind of being, the Vampire Ascendant. All the strengths of his vampiric form will be amplified, and alongside them he will enjoy the luxuries of the living. The arousals and appetites of man will return to him, and unlike Astarian, he will have no need of a parasite to protect him from the sun. But the ritual has its price, as all worthwhile things do. Lord Gazador will need to sacrifice a number of souls, including all of his vampiric spawn, if he is to ascend. Imagine how he felt then, when one of those precious spawns simply disappeared into thin air. The only missing ingredient is a story. You are the final piece he requires to complete the ritual. Your scars bind you to it. Your soul will set off a very wave of death, bringing Kazador his twisted life. And that, my tragic and toothsome friend, is that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business elsewhere. <laughs> Do you think it's so simple? even when I was just another wretched toy for him to play with. But if I'm the key to this power he craves, he'll hunt me to the ends of Faerun. <sighs> I need to take the fight to him, and I need you to help me. Thank you. It seems like Kazador used Astarian's flesh not as a canvas, but as a contract. We haven't heard the last of this, I'll wager. Wish I could say I was surprised about Cazador's pact. Where blood, death, and betrayal parade, you can bet your ass a devil is riding Grand Marshal. 
We're going to keep Astarian safe. On my life, Kazador won't touch him. Go on. I was hoping you'd say that. 